Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we're in Jolly Wellington. Look at the sea! Look at the sea! We're in Wellington today. It is pretty average Wellington weather, I'd say. Windy, wet. It's probably going to be beautiful <laughs> exactly. for about five minutes and then it's going exactly. to be like this again. But little did you know about Wellington, Ollie, it was rated by CNNN. CNNN? <laughs> it's like one of those <laughs> fake news stations in like disaster movies. Wellington was rated by CNN as one of the top eight international destinations for coffee. Now, New Zealanders know what they're doing when it comes to coffee. I don't think I've ever had a bad cup of coffee in New Zealand. That's true. So what we're going to do is we're going to try out a few of the best cafes to try and find the best cup of coffee and ask the question, is New Zealand coffee the best coffee Wait, in the world? How much coffee are we going to drink? Because that's, that's, a, <laughs> that's a problem. So we're just going to have to go back to back. Because after coffee, two, coffee, coffee, no, coffee, coffee, no. coffee. Also, well, Ellington's a tiny city, so they're all like right no, next to each after other. After two cups, I start yeah. to feel shaky. Well, after three. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let's do this. First up, Mojo. This is a terrible idea. Mojo by the waterfront. It's supposed to be good coffee. I don't think I've ever had more than three cups of coffee in a day. Hello. What's your most popular cup of coffee you sell? Perfect. Mojo. Is this going to give me my mojo back on it? Because right now I'm feeling pretty low on mojo. Don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> You've got a mojo. Oh, thank you very, thank much. You very much. All right. Thank you. See, now I would say arguably the best thing on a cold, rainy, early morning is a nice hot flat white. Yeah. And flat white is definitely my favorite way of drinking coffee. Oh, look at that. You ready? Cheers. Cheers, man. This is the first coffee of the day. Oh, number one, Mojo. Let's hope we survive this. There's two shots of espresso in this, Ollie. It's really hot. Oh, it's too hot. That's minus points. A good flat white should come out at perfect drinking temperature. In England, every really good coffee shop I've been to, it's always yeah. perfect temperature. That's, a, that's part of the barrister's skill. You know, Barrister? You get... I swear barristers are overqualified to be making coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's probably first cup of the coffee in the day. If we burn our tongue, that's taste bad. buds are ruined. So what are we rating this out of 10 then? I think you get disqualified. If it's so hot that it burns your tongue, that's a disqualification. That's not a good start. Well, I don't think we've ever like really savaged anywhere we've reviewed <laughs> before. I quite like it. Tastes very good. It's cooled down a little bit now. <laughs> but, you know, from one of CNN's top nations. I think you mean CNNN? I would expect more. <sighs> First coffee down. Next up. All right, second coffee, Ollie. Oh, this place looks old school. Two flat whites to go. Take one. Yes, please, yeah. All righty. Points for uh, color. Shotgun pink. Straight out of the gate, Ollie. Very hot to touch. <laughs> Very hot to touch. Dream. I don't mind the hotness, you know. I like to warm my hands for five minutes and then have my coffee. I think if you order something and you have to wait for five, that's just torture. Never do you ever want something and you're like, I want to just have to wait for it after I get it. Although that actually is pretty nice. Pretty it's good nice temperature. temperature yeah? Okay, I'm going to let you taste them all first and from now on. Yeah, that's It's good. milkier than Mojo. Interesting point about Wellington coffee shops is a lot of them have their own coffee. Their own. They either roast their own coffee or they sell coffee from a different roaster. I would actually say, I mean, this isn't, it's not really a fair comparison because any coffee you have any day is going to be different in each place. But I prefer the taste of the first one. No, I agree. I do actually agree. Once it cooled down, Mojo, I would say, was damn good. I think this is a Camilla Parker Bowles. Come on. The first place was a Meghan Markle, right? She's amazing. She's revolutionizing how the royals are perceived. Comparing but, coffee to women. <laughs> but to royals. Don't throw me under the bus. People from Tumblr watch this. I'm sorry, I love you, Tumblr. All right. Well, we need to start making our way over to the next coffee shop. We need to find our Queen Elizabeth. Is she, she's got to be number one. What Come about on. Prince Charles? Come on. Prince Charles is when you order coffee and they give you tea instead. <laughs> so we are now walking down an alleyway. Yeah, in search of our next place. I have no idea where we are. Oh, here we go. Lead Street Bakery. Is that it? This place is so close to the previous place that I've still got a bit of still, coffee. We still haven't finished it. I'm done. I'm feeling great. I feel like I, ne I never need to sleep again. I don't know if I've ever finished two coffees that quickly before. Mm. All right, let's, let's do, do it. Hello. Can I grab two flat whites, please, to go? Yeah, of course, mate. Can I just say, Ollie, with the amount of coffee shops we're going to, 
I'm having to use serious self-restraint. I'm getting serious cake cravings. I'm starting to shake. Brilliant. This is an Ethiopian Sadamo. Uh, Ethiopian Sadamo. That sounds right up my alley. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. And good luck. Cheers. 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 What I'm learning, Ollie. I think they give coffee it's just hotter. It's, hotter. it's getting hotter. <laughs> In England, if you go to like a nice coffee place, it will come out literally perfect drinking temperature. Yeah. And if you wait too long, it'll go cold. This, it feels like they give it to you so that you can drink it in a few minutes. You know also what I'm learning? We talked talk to the baristas in yeah. there. It just dawned on me. This is definitely the most hipster video we've ever filmed. Yeah. Look, there's another vape shop. Is, yeah, there's <laughs> another vape literally shop. Literally right, right in front of us. Right next to Milk Crate, which is the next coffee shop, which is also next to Customs. The, the coffee shop after that. Two of the best coffee shops in Wellington, apparently, right next to each other. Let's, okay. let's taste this. Apparently it's got a stronger taste, a bit more fruity. That's the best. That, mm, that is like the that. best so I like far. She, she said it was going to be punchy. That is punchy. She's right. I think I can taste the caffeine at this stage. Yeah. I'm feeling yeah. it in my heart. Not in the way that you fall in love. <laughs> and that barrister was both highly qualified in law you are an idiot. And right. amazing at making right. coffee. The next two coffee shops are literally right next to each other. We've got Milk Crate on the left, Customs on the right. I think we should try and protect our health and send you to Milk Crate, I'll go to Customs, and just get one coffee from each. And then we can share. Does that sound good? That sounds good. We'll First, we need time. to finish this coffee. Down it. Let's do okay. it. It's cooled down. We're talking so fast. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Onto um, cup number four and five. five. Let's do it. I say immediately, milk crate hipster levels are high. This coffee here, what is more hipster, Ollie, than coffee and Supreme, the brand? I don't think that's like the hipster streetwear brand. This logo looks surprisingly similar. It's red and white with a bold font. Supreme coffee, we're taking the hipster levels to the next level. Let's do this. All right. All right. Coffee number four and five. I'm getting a little bit worried now. Hello. Hello. Grab a flat white to go. Hi there. Can I get a flat white, please? Headset? Uh, take away, please. Thank you. Perfect. Cheers. Thank you. It's really hard not to spill it. Is it really full? Very full, and I'm a little bit shaky. Supreme, I've got a very good feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Mine's good. That's very good. That is my favorite coffee so far. Really? Yeah. I would say this is probably my favorite coffee so far. And you're gonna like the temperature of this as well. Okay, let's try this. That's the perfect temperature coffee. That They have nailed the temperature. Taste is better than that one though. This is really good as well. This is probably a tie for me, which is probably why they're both still open. Yeah, if one right, was right. obviously you're better right. than the other, yeah. then really good. one would just win. This is Batman versus Superman at the probably. beginning of the film before oh. one of them dies. Does one of them die? I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot! It's like Superman versus Thor. Actually, Thor can be killed. It's You're like super, on, Superman, Superman versus God? I would say that these, it's a tie, right? I these are royals of equal value. I, you it's know, just coffee, Ollie, they're not royals. Well, I'd say this is probably Harry. He's not heir to the throne, but he's the nation's favorite. Whereas no. this is William. He's heir to Sorry, the throne, see. ooh, and he's balding. He's <laughs> 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 terrible! <laughs> he's a flipping prince! Down that coffee already. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, the coffee here is amazing. In, in all seriousness, all of the coffee we've had today, I would go back to. So, we've come to Best Ugly Bagels, Ollie. Do they yeah. even sell coffee? Of course they do. But also, I want a bagel. Good. Bagel break. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, can we get two flat whites? What's a low tie flat white? Uh, it's just a smaller version. Can we actually get those? Let's do it instead. <laughs> Change those to low tide. That looks good. Tomato, avocado, basil. We share yeah. one of them and, the, and, a, and a salmon one, maybe? And the salmon one, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Just say, Ollie, this is the coolest bagel shop I've ever been. Yeah, I know, I told you, I've been here before. And also, the guy is a really friendly Irish guy. And maybe yeah, it's all the coffee, but it's that heavy. makes it better. I feel genuinely really shaky now. How much have we had? Five cups. So this is our sick, and then we're gonna go to seven. I'm just going to Google safe number of coffee in one day. What? <laughs> what? Okay, up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day appears to be safe for most healthy adults. We got warned about this, aren't we? Havana. Havana. This is, this is the type of coffee that they sell 
In Wellington, that is apparently way stronger than any of the other types. So, the other beans. up to 400 milligrams a day, that's roughly four cups of coffee, is safe. Four? Yeah. So this is, we're entering uncharted territory now. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's do it! <laughs> Whoa, that is strong. That's really good. Does that taste distinctly distinct from the other? Yeah, it does. Today? It does. Different yes. Coffee. Hi there. Oh, Swap these. Yeah. A bit of lemon. Yep. And then we should get walking to the next coffee shop. You know what would go really well with that? That. A cup of coffee. Mm, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers, Ollie. Man, it's so strong. I don't even think I can handle it. I love it. I think because it's not a coffee place, I had lower expectations. I don't know, this is probably my number one so far. This is like, I, think I don't know, I'm it's trying really to think good. of a it's royal really that this would it's be. Really good. Maybe, maybe, if you like strong kind of bitterish coffee. Maybe Duke of Edinburgh, you, <laughs> you know? He's strong, <laughs> he's stoic. <laughs> All right, well, a bit too strong for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way slowly through that as we have our bagels. Let's do this. Next up. Mm. Oh man, that's really good. Bagels, man. Bagels are 100% worth it, Ollie. Yeah, I know, I told you. Bagel break was the best decision we've ever made. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that bagel was good. <laughs> so earlier, it's amazing. in one of the coffee shops that we were in, but one of the baristas said, if you're trying out all the coffee in Wellington, you absolutely have to go to People's. Apparently it's a new place. And so we were like, we're buying coffee from you. Why would you recommend? Funny. Another shop, and he was like, Genuinely, it's so good. Though, New Zealanders are just the nicest people ever, so. Mm -hmm. How many coffees are we in? How many are we, this is how a seven. in, are we? Uh, seven? I'm seven. the last one. Why do I feel like I'm gonna have a terrible crash <laughs> in about an hour? <laughs> All right, that's I hope it. I last at least that long. We got Daft Punk on. Yeah. Hmm? Good choice of music. <laughs> I know, I already like this bit. Could we get two flat whites, please? Yeah. <laughs> I love this song. Okay. Final coffee. Show the peoples. Very nice cups again. Good design. All right, let's do it. So, final coffee. Looks good. Ooh, hello. That smells different. That smells fruity. Temperature's good. It's Queen Elizabeth. That's a winner. That is it's, a winner. It's Look Queen Elizabeth. It. Look at it. Play the hello. Play the national anthem God because no, okay. I play it. You're not a great singer. Guys, wow. Winner, come to Peoples if you come to Wellington and you want a really good coffee or just try them all like we did. See you guys really soon. We're talking really fast. <laughs> <laughs>